just breaks Tuesday night on ABC News Live. And, and what about Frankie? All right, now, let me, now, let now, me have, let me allow Vice President Biden to respond. I never said I oppose Frankie. You said I tape. I did to show the tape. Put it on your website. I'll put it on. Put it on the website. The fact of the matter is, he's flat lying. Would you rule out Andy Frankie? I do rule out Andy Frankie because the answer we need, we need other industries to transition to get to ultimately a complete zero emissions 2025. What I will do with fracking over time is make sure that we can capture the emissions from the fracking, capture the emissions from gas. We can do that and we can do that by investing money and doing it. It's a trend. Comment est-ce que tu t'es brûlé Elle s'apostrophe, elle, brûlée. En faisant le barbecue, cette blessure est grave. Fait brûler en utilisant cette, cette, cette machine. Ne porte pas ses valises parce qu'elles sont trop lourdes. Plusieurs blessures. Le corps. Pourquoi tu saignes Tu saignes. Comment est-ce que tu t'es brûlé je me suis coupé et j'ai beaucoup saigné. Je suis coupé et beaucoup. Beaucoup. Je me suis coupé et j'ai beaucoup saigné. Et saigné. Ne porte pas ses valises parce qu'elles sont trop lourdes. Biden's comments on transitioning away from oil and fossil fuels hurt him in those key states? 
That was a bit of news last night, huh? Uh, Biden's lead, though, in Pennsylvania has been pretty durable. In fact, from the last debate to where it's this previous debate now, he gained a point. And so he has gained more ground in states in the South and states like Texas that aren't as likely to determine the election. But again, we're talking about a six-point lead that he has in Pennsylvania and in a race that overall has been pretty stable. Now, Biden's in a similar position in the polls to where Hillary Clinton was four years ago. So what are you seeing in your model? now that gives you confidence in the odds that you're giving him. Yeah, so I push back on that a little, that they're in the same position. Because if we looked at October 23rd, 2016, Clinton did lead Trump nationally, but it was by 6.4 points, whereas Biden is about by 10 points now. So that's three points more than Clinton at this date in 2016. And that's a big difference, considering when you consider some of the battleground states and the margins in which Trump won them by. There's just fewer undecided voters this year, and most important, Importantly, Biden is above water with voters in terms of popularity. Clinton wasn't. All right, Sarah Frost is in from 538. Thanks, Sarah. And that does it for us here on Your Voice, Your Vote, The Breakdown. I'm Diane Macedo in New York. And I'm Terry Moran in Washington. Have a great day and a great weekend. trials and figure out what's really out there. Reveal Chad Burr and his family. I know in my heart they did this. It's the time of suspicion. The ending's really tough. You don't know when the truth is going to be difficult to find. Unless you try to find it. Welcome to Disney Plus. Are you ready? Drop in and explore. The action. The adventure. And the originals. There's no limit to what you'll find. These are your books. So come on. Dive deeper into the universes you love. Wherever and whenever you want them. You will find them all here on Disney+. Plus. Now could be a good time to have another baby. Are you crazy? I'm in love with you. Now that I said it out loud, it does sound weird. <laughs> Vice President Biden, you're simply not true. 
We ought to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. We ought to be able to safely open, but when they need resources to open, you need to be able to, for example, if you're going to open a business, have social distancing within the business. It was quite the contrast to the first debate. Well, 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 the question, the question is, is, the president initially restrained tonight. Right, I take full responsibility. It's not my fault that he came here. It's China's fault. And you know what? It's not Joe's fault that he came here either. It's China's fault. They kept it from going into the rest of China for the most part, but they didn't keep it from coming out to the world, including Europe and ourselves. Defending his response to the virus. We closed up the greatest economy in the world in order to fight this horrible disease that came from China. It's a worldwide pandemic. It's all over the world. You see the spikes in Europe and many other places right now. I say over soon. I say we're learning to live with it. We have no choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement like Joe does. Biden, in turn, hammering the president. Elle s'est fait mal en utilisant cette machine. Elle s'est fait mal en utilisant cette machine. machine. Pourquoi tu saignes Ces machines sont très dangereuses. Donald Trump. And if you look, with the exception 
of Abraham Lincoln, possible exception, but the exception of Abraham Lincoln, nobody has done what I've done. Abraham Lincoln here is one of the most racist presidents we've had in modern history. He pours fuel on every single racist fire. Every single one. This guy has a dog whistle about as big as a foghorn. On one of the most crucial issues for voters, health care, President Trump declining to provide any specifics about his plans for replacing Obamacare, a 2016 campaign promise he has yet to fulfill. We'll always protect people with pre-existing. Blessure. So like to terminate Obamacare, come up with a brand new beautiful health care. Blessure. Biden saying he'd expand Obamacare with a public option, calling it Biden Care. Public option is an option that says that if you, in fact, do not have the wherewithal to be, if you qualify for Medicaid and you do not have the wherewithal fait mal à cause de cette machine. to get Medicaid, you automatically enroll, providing competition for insurance companies. Biden going on offense, challenging the president on recent reports that the government cannot find the parents of 545 children still separated at the border under President Trump's immigration policies. Do you have a plan to reunite the kids? Yes, we're working on it very, we're, we're trying very hard. But a lot of these kids come out without the parents. They come over through cartels and through coyotes and through gangs. It's not coyotes didn't bring them over. Their parents were with them. They got separated from their parents. And it makes us a laughing stock and violates every notion of who we are as a nation. They are so well taken care of. They're in facilities that were so clean. Finally, each candidate was offered the opportunity to give a unifying message, which each attempted, but then reverted to attacks. We are on the road to success, but I'm cutting taxes, and he wants to raise everybody's taxes, and he wants to put new regulations on everything. He will kill it. If he gets in, you will have a depression, the likes of which you've never seen. Your 401ks will go to hell, and it will be a very, very sad day for this country. I'll say... I'm an American president. I represent all of you, whether you voted for me or against me. What is on the ballot here is the character of this country. Decency, honor, respect, treating people with dignity, making sure that everyone has an even chance. And I'm gonna make sure you get that. You haven't been getting it the last four years. With only 12 days to go, they'll no doubt be back at it tomorrow. <laughs> This is what being live is all about. This is ABC News Live, the 24 7 news source of ABC News. News, live events, streaming nonstop. Utilisant, National Geographic, ESPN, and it's all designed differently for you. Utilisant, cette machine ne porte pas ses valises parce qu'elles sont trop lourdes. ABC News Live. It's that easy to go there. It's being called the most consequential election of a lifetime. The most important vote, and with so much on the line, it demands the most straightforward news-making legal answers. The most informed voices from all sides. The countdown is on to the vote. What will our future look like? ABC's This Week with George. It all plays out right here in the Sunday. The most consequential weekend of this hyper-political year. But as you get closer to casting your vote every Sunday on ABC. Welcome to Disney Plus. Are you ready? Drop in and explore. The action. The adventure. And the originals. There's no limit to what you'll find. These are your worlds. So come on. Dive deeper into the universes you love. Wherever and whenever you want them. You will find them all here on Disney Plus. This Montana Highway Patrol. Did you look for a couple of missing teenagers? That's right. Last seen in a red focus. This call is steering wheels get sent. Lock the door. We're fine.
break down tonight's debate. Our powerhouse roundtable, Matt Down, ABC News chief political analyst, Rahm Emanuel, the former mayor of Chicago, Chris Christie. Ne porte pas ses valises parce qu'elles sont trop lourdes. Deep Root Analytics and Yvette Simpson, CEO of Democracy for America. Governor Christie, I'd like to start with you. It wasn't a repeat, certainly, of the last debate, but President Trump went after Joe Biden aggressively. You certainly coached him before, Chris. Do you think that the change in tone helped the president tonight? And, and is it too late to make a difference? It absolutely helped the president tonight, the change in tone, because it did two things. One, it lowered the heat so that people could actually listen. And secondly, it allowed the Joe Biden room to talk about what he wanted to talk about, which I've been advocating for the president to do right from the beginning, because Joe Biden, to me, made a strategic mistake tonight. He said he's going to uh, go to zero carbon by 2025, in five years, and phase out the oil industry. I am confident that voters